Hi, good afternoon. My name is Grant. I'm a sales rep here at Birdex. I'm gonna be walking you through the Bird Expeller Pro today. As you can see in front of you, we have all the parts of the Bird Expeller Pro uh, with an external speaker in addition. This is an extra part. Uh, the device itself, when ordered, comes with the charger, mounting bracket, and the device itself, which has the built-in speaker. Now this device does have one acre of coverage when the volume is all the way turned up. A lot of times we see that it doesn't need to be all the way to up. Um, and we'll talk about that later when we talk about programming the device. Uh, simply put, these are the parts. And we wanna show you first uh, where to plug the power cord into, and that's gonna be the back here. And then you have the standard plug that goes into the wall. Usually this will be plugged in uh, under a porch canopy or an external uh, outlet that has a plastic cover over the charger. Uh, there's also this port here for the extension speaker. Um, and as you can see right here is where you would mount the bracket uh, to be able to allow you to attach, or mount the device wherever uh, you so please. So now that we've seen all the parts that are gonna be included with the Bird Expeller Pro, uh, let's talk about the programming of the device and uh, what settings are gonna work best for you. Great, so let's walk through the programming of the device. First thing we're gonna do is open up the control box. And as you can see, there's a variety of different switches and knobs on here. And a lot of people ask, what do I do? Where do I set these? And that's what we're here to help with. First thing we're, gonna, we're going to want to do is to set all of the switches here, the two position dip switches to off, and then start with the bird recordings. There's a combination of species specific distress calls and bird predator calls. This sticker here is going to list what they are in relation to the model of the device. As you can see, we have a Bird Explorer Pro version one here for pigeons, starlings, sparrows, and seagulls. Um, and the recordings that you're going to turn on are gonna be dependent on the problem you're dealing with. Let's say we have a pigeon problem, uh, so we'll deal through that. Uh, the important thing to understand when setting the bird recordings is that you should never have more than two or three recordings on at once. So to start, we'll start by turning on three related to a pigeon problem. So we'll turn on recording one, which is pigeon distress call one. We'll turn on recording two, which is a pigeon distress call two, along with a bird predator call. And then we'll turn on bird recording seven, which is a second bird predator call. And that's gonna be a good place to start. It's important to understand that uh, Every week or so, we should be changing up these recordings. Even if it's just a change of one bird predator or one species specific call, it keeps the birds on their toes. So now that we have the recording set, let's move to mode settings, the second set of switches, one through five here. Over here, you can see there are some instructions on the mode settings and where the dip switches should be set, but we'll also walk through those. Uh, one and two is going to be time off switches. So on off is the test setting off on is the medium setting which keeps the device off every one to four minutes on on is the long setting so the device is off every five to ten minutes and then the off off setting which is uh, keeps the device off every 10 to 30 minutes the extra long setting with the position with dip switch one and two off is really our best practice recommendation for the device. It replicates the most natural time frame in which there's going to be bird calls. So we're gonna leave one and two off to start. And if you have really heavy bird pressure or want to get this device working right away, we would then recommend the long setting, which is one and two uh, both on. So you just turn both of these on. So then let's move to the time of operation uh, setting, which is gonna be switches three and four. Uh, most of the time, you're going to operate the device during the day, and that's going to be three on and four off. So we'll turn three on, keep four off. And then if you want to operate at 24 hours, it's going to be three off, four on. Night only is either both on or both off. And then let's move on to the random setting. Random setting essentially plays the bird recordings one through eight in random order rather than in the sequential order that they're in. One, three, five, one, three, five, one, three, five, it changes it up. We like to keep that on because it is natural. All right, so we've gone over uh, those main settings there. Let's move on to the volume. 
we get a lot of questions as to how loud the volume should be. The key here is that the volume should be loud enough to where you can hear it at the problem areas. Otherwise, you want to set it as low as you can so that it sounds natural. So oftentimes in residential applications, we'll see it set between the first and second notch here to start. So set it about a little bit on the lower end of there. And then we'll move to the power switch. Again, most times in most applications, you're going to set it to this second setting, which says int x speaker for the internal and ex external at the same time. So this middle setting is going to play the sounds out of the internal speaker, as well as the external speaker that may be plugged into the back, as I showed you earlier. There also is a setting to play on the external speaker only, but again, most of the time you're going to be on the internal and external. That is the uh, general best practice of setting up the Bird Expeller Pro, and now we're ready to uh, talk about some additional features on, on the device. Great, so now that we've covered some of the best practices in programming the device, let's go over some additional features. And the first is going to be the use of an extension speaker. Now you can buy an extension speaker for the single speaker Bird Expeller Pro, and that allows you to get more coverage out of the device or the same amount of coverage while keeping the volume at a lower setting. So oftentimes we will see people use an extension speaker. If they have a large home that they wanna get uh, good sound coverage on both sides of that uh, home, or if they want to mount the device in a common place like a back porch where it's easily accessible and had they have a power outlet nearby, but they don't want the sounds to be coming from the internal speaker right next to where they may be spending their time. So a lot of residents will buy an extension speaker with 100 feet of cable and run the speaker to the roof or to a nearby tree and set it to external speaker only so that the sounds are coming from the external speaker and not the internal that's close by. Another feature I want to cover is the use of the battery clips. So we do have a charger that comes with battery clips, allowing you to connect the device to a 12 volt battery, making it more mobile. Or if you don't have a power source nearby, that's another great option. So essentially it's the same exact outlet here that plugs into the back of the device and then has two battery clips at the end instead of this type of charger to connect to that 12 volt, often a deep cycle marine battery. So those are some additional features of the Bird Expeller Pro, allowing you to customize it to your specific situation. If you have any additional questions about the operation of the device or programming, please do give us a call here at BirdX. We're happy to help with any type of consultation. We can also discuss other options like our Super Bird Expeller Pro, which is a four speaker unit with a coverage up to six acres and used for larger applications. Thank you for your time.